All right, here we are in the lab with our abuse victim. I have 15 volts on the commutator up here from a power supply. And when I take this gigantic toroidal subwoofer magnet and simulate a field of a few hundred amps across these stators, it begins to operate. So that's pretty unbelievable, but it's a survivor, I guess. Of course, if I had a, a real load on this meter and a significantly higher voltage, it would be spinning quite a lot faster, but this shows us that the armature somehow survived all that glass flying around in there, as did these adjustment coils, the compensator coils on this spectacle plate here. I'll pull the magnet away so you can see, but the way that works is that to make corrections and adjustments to the field strength and counter field strength in the meter, this can slide in and out on these rails and it brings these torus shaped coils there and there in closer proximity or further away from the armature. But the whole thing somehow survived, so, so now it can join its uh, friends up here. That one's fine. That one was the last one that got smashed up in shipping, uh, and, and it works too. And then um, this one here was on a switchboard where the rain came down and the corrosion jacking that happened from other things adjacent to it completely tore its frame apart, but the glass didn't break, so um, got varying degrees of repair for all these uh, relatives here. This one that was smashed in shipping was actually not packaged uh, carefully at all, but it fared far better. This, this one here got just obliterated, um, but it works. Somehow, against all odds, now I just have to somehow get rid of all the superficial damage. Not even the, not even the ceramic face broke. So, it's a miracle.